Hello sailors, you're watching the Dodger Kebab and in this video we're going to go back to 1988 to relive the launch of the Sega Mega Drive. These days a new console comes out with a ton of new games on launch day and people still moan that they've got nothing to play. Those people they don't know anything. So you're living in Tokyo, it's 1988. You've seen the adverts on TV and by some fluke this bold headed madman has convinced you to shell out 21,000 yen on an upcoming Sega Mega Drive. In today's money that's about £300. You're thinking Sega make all those great arcade games like Dynamite Ducks. Power Drift and Afterburner, and you want in on some of that sweet action. So, October the 29th rolls around, and you head over to the shop to pick up a console. And do you know what the launch lineup is? You've got Space Harrier 2, which is a home version of the arcade game Space Harrier. You've got Super Thunderblade, which is a home version of the arcade game Thunderblade. And that's it! Two games! Fuck you! But obviously, the real question is were they any good? Let's first look at Space Harrier 2. Alert! Fantasy Land falls into crisis now! Oh shit, well we better do something about it then! Oh no, hang on, don't worry, because I've just remembered that Space Harrier is set in the Fantasy Zone. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone! Get ready! Not Fantasy Land, so fuck this. No? Alright then. So, we pick a zone we want to start in, and I'm going to go for the Stunner Arena. Stunner! Stunner and Henry! So here we are, shooting shit out the sky. It controls quite smoothly, and although not as smooth as the arcade, it still feels like Space Harrier. A special mention has to go to the digitised voice, lifted straight from the arcade version, which sounds really good, just like it did in the arcade. Get ready. Get ready. Really the only problem I have with this version is that your character has the tendency to obscure your view of what you're aiming at and what's heading your way to slap your ass. This is a real pain on level 3 when the game goes full psychedelic on you and it's easy to lose concentration. Either way, it was a decent game at the time, but it's aged pretty badly. I'm not going to explain the game in detail because it's a bit fucking obvious what it's about even if you've never seen it before. Shoot all the bad guys while avoiding the obstacles, job done. The game description also works for the other game, Super Thunderblade. Super Thunderblade is also a home version of a Sega arcade game. Thunderblade was a great game in the arcade which saw you shooting bad guys while avoiding obstacles from two different perspectives. An overhead view would seamlessly flow into a third person view and you would continue to shoot bad guys while avoiding obstacles. The Mega Drive version however stays in third person view pretty much the whole time and only ever flicks to overhead view when there's a stage boss. The controls are sluggish and although it doesn't make too much of a difference in stage 1, stage 2 is a disaster as the controls prevent you from being able to properly dodge the cave entrances and exits with any accuracy. All in all, this is a pretty wank version when you consider that this is it for the Mega Drive launch. One half decent game and one utter shitter. Now you can see why I have no time for people that complain about modern console launch lineups. But what about after this? Surely a flood of games were on the way, right? I mean, Christmas was only around the corner. Let's see what happened after this. So, a month after the Sega Mega Drive launch, you've guessed it, it's another arcade port. This time, it's Altered Beast. The arcade game was great fun, with all the beast transforming and all that malarkey. The Mega Drive version was a quite good port. Uh, the graphics took a minor hit, as did the sound. Everything was included, even the chicken leg mobs, which would later find themselves alongside Tyrus Flair in yet another arcade game, Golden Axe. This was a great version of Auto Beast, and it's a lot of fun. The only part I didn't like is the second level boss, which should be easy if you collect all the dragon power-ups, but because of the smaller screen area, ends up being shit, as the eyes always seem to kill me. Coupled with not being able to have any continues in this version, it makes it hard as nails to beat. What happened after this? Well, yet yeah, another month until another game came out. So yes, on December the 24th, Christmas Eve, this game came out. It's called... Um, yeah, I might need a hand with this one. Which translated is Osamatsu-kun's Crazy Theatre. Onomatsu-kun is a well-known anime and manga series in Japan. Right now, you're looking at the 1960s anime from Japanese TV. This got a remake 20 years later in the 1980s, which kept the series in the public eye. A video game on it was a safe bet. 
There was also an Osamatsu-kun game for the Nintendo Famicom, but that one was bollocks. Anyway, this game is just fucking mental! Look at these mobs! What? What? What the actual fuck? Moving on, so this is a standard platform game with some nice graphics and very Japanese music. It's actually quite fun to play, but is let down by the poor AI programming and mob placement. The bad guys are either piss easy or utter bullshit cunt bags. Look at this cloud level. How the fuck am I meant to dodge this brick? How? Fuck you! Remember, by this time, the Mega Drive had been out in Japan for two months, and there were only four games on the machine. So next time a console launches and some knobhead starts bitching about how there's nothing to play, tell them to shut their fucking mouths because they don't know what they're talking about. Anyway, that's all. Bye. Hello sailors, thanks for watching the video, if you want to support me on Patreon and help support making further new videos like this then click on the link down there below or you can even click on the social media links on Facebook, on Twitter and see behind the scenes footage and keep up with me what's going on day to day. Anyway, speak to you later, ah, bye.